Here we are in Google Sheets. We're going to be calculating correlation between two variables. The variables I'm looking at are median listing price and the median square feet. First way to calculate correlation is to use the correlation function in Excel. Equals corel and it's uh, Excel. It's, it's Google Sheets. It's the same formula as in Excel. <laughs> and I'm going to select the Y values, comma, the X values. There we go. 0 0.79209, the correlation also known as R. Pearson's correlation coefficient, if you want to be technical about it. Now I'm going to use the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. As I said before, it's under, it can be found under add-ons. If you don't have it already installed, you can get add-ons and you can search for the XL Miner Analysis Tool Pack. Very easy to install and use. Uh, now I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to click on correlation and the input range. I'm going to, it needs to have one block of input. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now I have median dollars per square foot there. Um, it doesn't really matter. I can ignore it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this whole block and I'm going to go over to correlation input range and just select D5. So it's D5 to F34. That's the rectangle. And I'm going to put uh, the output range to H8. Labels in the first row. Click OK. It's going to give me a correlation matrix. What this does is it, it, for each pair of variables, it calculates the correlation. Now, what I'm interested in was the correlation of square feet to listing price. And that's the, that's found right here in this cell. All right. And that's how you can find correlation using the correlation. Uh, it's not that much easier, honestly. But this what this does, that's, that's convenient. If you do have a lot of variables and you're interested in correlation, you can get this correlation matrix real quick. Um, but uh, the, the, see, the Corel function is probably quicker, uh, but it depends what your preference is. Now, now I'm going to calculate R squared, uh, the coefficient of determination. A couple ways to do it. One way to do it is to uh, use RSQ function and select the Y values, then select the X values. Another way to do it is to take the correlation and square it. That means you can just multiply it, uh, multiply it by itself. That's another way to get R squared. Um, another way to do it would be, as we did before, you can, uh, you can go to the uh, linear regression in the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. And from there, when you do a linear regression on the Y values and X values, among all of the output, one of the outputs is the R squared. So a couple ways to get it. It's going to be the same number no matter which way you get it. Uh, that's how you can get R squared.